Okay, on to the next track in Sammy's Kicks and Flats Addict Series, man. Like I say, we are on the final stretch and we are now almost, almost done. I think we've got maybe six left after this and then we're done. And then this series is completely finished. It's been a fantastic series. What a great journey through a whole bunch of different artists. For those of you who are only hopping on now, go back, watch it from the beginning or even just go to the middle, whatever, hop around the series. There's a lot of great... Uh, um, um, content uh, within the series so let's uh, rock and roll man let's see what we've got blacktop mojo never heard of them can't sleep never heard of this first time that this is actually uh, on my channel new artists to the channel let's rock and roll for those of you who are interested in the custom series products i'm leaving the link down in the pinned comment let's uh, rock and roll let's go ceiling to the morning light what are you guilty of are you thinking about the roman empire <laughs> probably not but it's like yeah so th this over here just kind of feels like it's like a sort of tumultuous relationship to a certain degree and um you know when the partner can when you can actually feel your partner like when you're in a marriage or when you're in a close relationship you can feel when something's wrong right even if they don't say anything it's almost like that, that energy that they give off um, like my wife can literally tell me what's wrong and I'll be like no it's cool I'm good don't worry and she can feel it like you know she can feel it and that's the crazy thing is that okay so you're sitting in the bed like he's saying lying in the bed at night staring at the ceiling um, if that happens all like too too much it's like every night you're doing this okay what do you what do you what is bothering what what's in your mind where where are the demons where are the skeletons man or you know we can we share this home uh, we share this relationship Put it out there because it's now starting to make me feel uncomfortable, uh, essentially. So, yeah, so that's just basically it. I could have cheated, could have cheated, he could have cheated, and that's why he's staring at the ceiling. Or she could have cheated, and that's why she's staring at the ceiling. She's just completely overwhelmed by the guilt of it, but can't come to actually, she can't bring herself to actually tell him, or he can't bring herself to himself to tell her. Uh, one of those, but I think that's kind of where we're going. It's just uh, the your little demons that are playing in your head at night and um it feels dark and you, all you want to do is just bury that but you can't that's always going to come out let's go i'll tell you i can't sleep because i'm always working <laughs> <laughs> always working i swear I'm, i work like 18 hours a day 18 to 19 hours a day seriously it's literally crazy it's from 5 a.m in the morning right through until what 11 12 o'clock at night and then um i try and get an hour for myself before going to bed which lands up 12 o'clock at night i go to bed around there sometimes wake up at four sometimes wake up at five i'm in like a perpetual state of exhaustion all of the time but you can't stop it's momentum 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 man you can't stop the moment you stop you get lazy you get lazy idle hands people idle hands <laughs> Out the window in the street Watch strangers 
distance in the night. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so this is about cheating. This is about cheating over here. Uh oh. Distance in the night. When you pull me in closer, smell cigarettes, smoke and lights. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, people, people and their fucking egos. It just absolutely infuriates me. If you walk in on your partner cheating, what is the fucking point of going there and absolutely losing your mind or going and taking a gun and shit like that? Have some value for yourself. I am ruthless with that kind of thing. I mean, absolutely ruthless with that kind of thing. It happened in a relationship before my my uh, wife when I was much younger, well, in my early early twenties before I actually met my wife. I found out that uh, my girlfriend was cheating on me. Do you know what I did? And literally, she was like, you know, I, I literally found out, spoke to her about it, and then I didn't even let her have one word, one word edgeways. I literally said, "Bye." It's like, oh no, but don't want to hear it. Don't care. Bye. Bye. I've got no fucking time for that. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, what is there to talk about? You broke my loyalty. You've betrayed me. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not going to get all our uh, records. That's the reaction you want from me. You're not going to get like, oh, well, fight for me. No. Bye. <coughs> Goodbye. Out. No ways, not a fucking chance. I'm gonna waste my time. You think I'm gonna even waste my time like this? Why even waste the bullets? Are you joking with me? I would literally close the door. Cool, no problem. Bye. See you later. And I'll deal with the, I'll deal with the heartache as it goes. But that's perfectly fine. But I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction of even watching me get irate or bent up, bent up about that. Not a chance, man. You will literally be cut clean so fast your head will spin. It will just be like, cheers, like you never knew me. That's just the way it works. You know what I mean? Don't waste your energy on bullshit shit like that. You know what I mean? It's a waste. <laughs> very clever with the way they did the video because you actually think that you know when he goes out there with a shovel and he starts digging the grave is it's if he's going to bury somebody right and then she's behind him so it's kind of like he dug his own grave um because of what he did very clever very 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 clever <laughs> Like, what's the point of destroying your entire life for scum? Like, what's the point of that? What's the point of you destroying your entire life? What? You, for what? What's that going to do to you? Now you've completely polluted your soul because you've murdered someone. Alright? And he wasn't worth the time. 
Why destroy your life for some idiot? Anyway, that's my personal opinion. You guys let me know what you think down below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.